I always believed relying on other people to be a sign of weakness. That inevitably they would lead me to disappointment. It has made me reevaluate things. Like what? Like who I can trust. So what's the deal with you and Tyler? Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. Mostly me coming in across the street. Steer clear of Wednesday Adams. She's the kind of girl who's gonna get you hurt. Tyler. You're not scary, you're just kinda kooky. I prefer spooky. I'm not used to people engaging with me. I'm not fun material, let alone more than fun material. I know I'm stubborn, single-minded, and obsessive. Let's go. I will ignore you, stomp on your heart, and always put my needs and interests first. I pity any boy who gets caught in a viper's gaze. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. How do you feel about scary movies? You look... Unrecognizable. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean it, Wednesday. You look beautiful. Are you still willing to help me escape? At least one of us will get out of this hell for town. Wednesday, we need to go. Thank you for the help. I can't believe you brought him. Why? Because he's a normie? Because Tyler and his friends are a bunch of jerks. Xavier told me what you did last year. How you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on outreach day. I guess that was inevitable. Why'd you do it? The truth is, I'm still trying to figure that out. Ran into your shrink. But you see Dr. Kimbot too? Better not be talking crap about your old man. We're talking about mom. Remember her? And that would require you to actually talk about her. My mom had severe bipolar disorder. I'm so sorry, Do you recognize her? Your father fell in love and married an outcast. You don't think... I don't think. I know. I saw it in a vision of the weather vane. She was a hide. And your father has been living his life in dread. Never really quite sure whether or not she had passed her condition on to you. Savior warned me about you, but I didn't listen. Ironic now, huh? Of course the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic, serial-killing monster. I showed you who you really are. Tyler is going to turn on you, too. Why'd you kill her? Do you know how violently unpredictable a hive can be? There's only one thing that a hive understands. Pain. Kind of a deja vu thing there going on. I guess huh? I have a type. When I came to Nevermore, romance was the last thing on my mind. Aren't you a boyfriend? Definitely not. But he warned me I was destined to be alone. But when you kissed me, and you opened you my eyes, right. and suddenly it all made sense. This is all a distraction. Tyler used Tyler me. is the hide. No man chooses evil because it is evil. He only mistakes it for happiness, the good he seeks. When I press him on his mother or any sensitive issue, he snaps. Becoming cold and detached. It's like I'm talking to a different person. You're like a cockroach. Please, flattery will get you nowhere. This will not end well for you. The outcast made you a monster. Oh, what they did to you. Mother. Emotion equals weakness. Are you okay? Did you ever even love her? They lead to feelings which trigger tears. More than you could ever know. Did you think I was going to judge you over some lousy prank? The point is you assaulted a boy and showed no remorse for your actions. I would have taken it further. And my personal philosophy is kill or be killed. But tears don't fix anything. I don't do tears. I don't believe in heaven or hell. But I do believe in revenge. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. Tyler, honey, make Mama happy and shut her up. Permanently, Tyler will do anything. She controls it. Listen to your master and be a good little eye. Oral said you were dead. I'm feeling much better now. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. I'm tougher than you think. I'd do it again. I knew there's a reason I liked you. You're making a mistake. Probably. Definitely. You'll snap out of it. Don't do that. Discount my feelings. Look, I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. Why? Because I wish I was going with you.